Oh, hello there. Welcome in another tutorial. This time we will texture this landscape. And the result we will have you can see right there on the screen. Uh, basically we have mixed uh, three different texture on one mesh using Blender masking tools. So let's get to it. First thing we need to do is to make a landscape and if you don't know how to make landscape you can check out my other tutorial where I describe exactly this. It's quite short so go and watch it if you didn't yet. And then if you have your landscape it's, we need to make a UVs for him. So we will click on it, see it from above and click on UV editing again from above. Alright that was kind of stupid, only once above is more than enough and here clicking UV and project from view with bounds. And as you can see here we have quite a nice UVs. Next thing we need to do is to get our texture. And for that I recommend Texture Heaven. That's uh, basically the best thing that happened to our to us digital artists in a long time. <laughs> because right here you have really a lot of PBR textures you can use for anything you want. I'm going to be using a ground and 003 and a rock 20 but you can try to find your own textures do whatever you just want. This side is actually is really really great. I definitely recommend to get to know it. Right now when we have our textures and when we have our landscape we need to put it together. So let's go to shading tab and create new material for it. We are going to be combining two or three actually different principal BSDF materials and I almost forgot we are going to need one more material and that's snow. And, and this time I'm not gonna use snow texture, I actually will use snow material which I created in another tutorial, link again in description if you are interested in seeing that. And right there I will just import it. So what we will do, we will open this snow material and here you can see it, quite a nice looking and actually we will decrease subsurface. I overdid it back then. Alright, and then we will for now ignore it. But what we need to do is to create another BSDF. Oh, come on, not this kind of BSDF. We need principal BSDF. And right there, click on Ctrl Shift T and found your material. Yeah, and as you can see, it's it was nicely imported right there. If I have applied it right now, you can see how it looks like. Great. Uh, if this shortcut doesn't work for you, you need to apply modifier which I will show you just now, uh, not the modified, I mean, I meant add-on, and it's node running row. I write this one. You need to make sure that if you write into search table uh, node running row, you have it on. All right, so another thing we will do is to edit scale for a bit. Let's say for three times three, what do you think? We can edit even this one, but it's not important as you can see and that doesn't look that bad but I would go for 3.5 oh, come on that looks nice and then we need to create another principle BSDF and apply here our around and again just to make sure that it looks right we will use we will preview it right there so and again we need to edit scale I think that we will go for four times four 
That looks about right. Oh, maybe a little bit less. A little bit more. 6.6, .6, do you think? Yeah. It doesn't, doesn't look exactly great, but it will do. So now, the most important part. We need to see how to combine it. So, we will use Mix Shader. And connect our BSDF right there. And our second BSDF right here. And mix shader connect to material output. All right, right there, that looks terrible because we have factor set to 500. So we will use image texture. Oh, come on, that's not what I said. Create new texture. And let's go for two times two. Accept it. And we need to name it because otherwise it would be just one big mess. So let's call it mixed grass. Mixed grass and the rock. That's a terrible name just between us, but it will do. And connect color right to factor. Alright, then let's go to layout. And you, and right there, we will switch object mode to texture paint. And go to other side of the screen and set opacity to almost zero. And set rendering bit better. All right, then we will go to settings, which means, which means right there, context, set it everything to white and strength to 100. And now we can paint our glass. It's very similar to painting mask in Substance Painter. Right now uh, we want to blur it a little bit, so we will set a strand to about 0 0.6 and play with it a little bit. Just to blur and blend that texture into one another. All right, now when you are satisfied with your result, which I actually am, we can get back to shading, switch off texture paint mode, back to object mode. And right here, we can play with smoothing a little bit more. We are going to use color ramp and add it here. And now you can see that you can play with that mask a little bit more. Just to, you can make it smoother or you can make it way harder. It's up to you and what you need. You actually don't need to add uh, that color line, but I actually like to play with it a little bit more. It also adds a little bit of vari variety. So, and when we have this, we want to add our snow. So let's take that snow and right there, it's basically the same process. I will add another mix shader. Add it here. To the lower one. It doesn't matter which one will you use. It basically, it's basically like which color you want to associate with it. Because if I do it like that, uh, bl white color will be associated with uh, lower one and the black with uh, higher one I think but it's not important you will figure it out <laughs> so what I see is that we will need to increase a scale a little bit uh, maybe a little bit more let's go for 500 yeah that, that looks too much <laughs> so oh, I see there was a problem I didn't do it I didn't do 500 uh, 
Well, whatever that happened. Yeah, I'm not gonna talk about it. <laughs> Alright. And again, we will use image texture. Create new one. Let's call it mix snow. And add color over here again. Alright, I have just uh, discovered that it will be way faster if we actually switch them. So I'm going to do exactly that. Oh, it did it on its own. That's great. And now we can switch it to white and start painting our snow. All right, and again, we can use our color lamp to play with it a little bit more. Color ramp added here. Wait, what happened? Oh, because I have added it to somewhere where I shouldn't. No, 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 that's definitely not what I wanted. Oh, let's go back. And everything is a bit smoother. Yeah, nice. So that's basically it. We have successfully painted our texture. So the last thing we can do is to make a nice shot out of it. So we will create game error. Uh, why am I looking at mesh? Right, that's nice composition, and we want to render it, right? But there is a little bit of problem. We have no lights over here. So first thing we will need, we will switch everything on. Do do do. You don't need to switch on motion blur because there are not going to be any movements, but whatever. And let's add our spotlight. And let's say that the sun is coming from here. So we need to increase it. And let's give it a little bit yellowish color because we want to have a warm, a warm sun. And here you can see a lot of pretty badly painted uh, things, which doesn't didn't which don't look very good. But that's something you can fix on your own. You definitely don't need my advice and for that. And that looks quite nice. Let's increase it a little bit more. One thousand sounded good. And now let's get to one more. We will add here our white light. A little bit further away and completely white. Maybe a little bit bluish. Alright, that doesn't look bad. Let's render it. Here we are. We have done it. You probably right now have uh, this wonderful landscape or whatever kind of landscape you have. Mine is definitely wonderful. And I will uh, leave a Blender file in the description. You can download it and do whatever you just want with it. Oh, you nasty thinker. Oh. <laughs> and that's about it. Feel free to comment, like, share, you know how it works here on YouTube. Subscribe would help too. So that's about it. See ya.
Uh, am I still here? Oh, of course, because I want to give you end screen to see other videos of mine. Enjoy.